The sum of six consecutive event numbers is 126. What is the fourth number in this sequence? Okay, look, consecutive, look, consecutive means come after one another. That is follow one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight look after one we should expect two after two we should expect three that is follow one after another this is consecutive then we have even even number is that number that is co completely divisible by two or exactly divisible by two look if you divide these two by two the quotient will be 1 right and if you divide these 4 by 2 the quotient will be 2 that is completely divisible or exactly divisible than 6 so here but these 3 and 5 is not exactly divisible by 2 because if you divide these 3 then you will get remainder if you divide this 5 by 2 you will get remainder so here 2, 4, 6 consecutive event numbers, right? And the difference between consecutive event numbers is always to look. 4 minus 2, that gives us 2. 6 minus 4, 2. This 8 is also event number. The difference between 8 and 6 is 2, right? So, the difference between consecutive event numbers is always 2. So, keep this in your mind, okay. Let us say here 6 consecutive, let us say the first number is x, consecutive even number is x, first number, then second number will be x plus 2, because the difference between x plus 2 and x should be 2 then third number will be just x plus 4 just you have to add 2 because the difference between two number is 2 so just you have to add 2 the fourth number will be 6 x plus 6 fifth number will be x plus 8 and sixth number will be x plus 10 that is 6 consecutive right here is the sixth number this is first second third fourth fifth sixth according to the condition of this math the sum of six consecutive event numbers is 126 so look just add x plus 1 plus x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 then x plus 6 then x plus 8 then x plus 10 right this will be equal to 126 or look just add 1x 2x 3x right 4x 5x 6x so 6x plus here 2 4, 6, 6, 6, 12, 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 10, that is 30, equal to 126, right? Now, we have to find out the value of x. So, or the value of x, so 6x plus 30 minus 30, that, that is we have to deduct 30 from both sides of this equation or 30, 30, 30 minus 30 that is 0, 126 minus 30, okay. Let us write the result 30, okay. Unit plus 10 plus 100 plus, so 6 and 0 that is 6 then here we have 3 but here we have 2 so this is 10 place right 
So we will take, uh, we'll borrow one from here. This is 100 plus. So what will happen here? So if I borrow one from here, what will happen? Okay, so 12, right? So 9. That is 9. Here we have 96. The difference here, 96, right? Now, 6x equal to 96. Or if you divide both sides by 6, then you're, you are getting x. 96 by 6 okay uh, here I have divided both sides by 6 so here the result will be 6 goes into 9 one time then 3 that is 16 if you divide 96 by 6 you will get 16 right the value of x is 16 look now we have to put the value of x here so our first number will be 16 because the value of x is 16 then second number will be just you have to increase 2 right 20 third number fourth number will be 22 then fifth number will be 24 and sixth number will be 26 so these are the consecutive even numbers right and the sum of the sixth number will be 126. So here the fourth number. So first number, second, third, fourth. So this is the number we are looking for. Right. Here is the result, 22. I have a blog post in the description box of this video. You can read that blog post. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.